How do you choose the best social network for your restaurant? Is it Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, what is it? Let's dive in and talk about it. Hey, it's Court from Cody Media. I help restaurant owners get butts and seats with digital marketing. One of the biggest questions I get from restaurant owners is, which social network should I be on? Should I be on all of them, one of them, none of them? What should I do? Well, let's talk about it. First of all, let's think about what are the social networks that most people come on to think about food and restaurants. From my experience, what I'm seeing here in 2022, there's really two. It's Facebook and Instagram. I know there's some other new kids on the block like TikTok and some of those other ones, which are great, but for the most part, what I'm still seeing is those are where people are coming to look about food. It's not Twitter, it's not uh, TikTok, although there's some fun things on there. Uh, it's really these two platforms. So let's, let's kind of dive in and talk about that. The number one most important thing, I can't stress this enough, is who is your audience, all right? And this is what it's all about. Where are those people hanging out, your audience, all right? Typically, I'm gonna make a generalization here. Typically, um, your, uh, you know, the older generations like um, Gen X, baby boomers, you know, 30s, 40s, 50s and above, they are more hanging out on Facebook. That's where they hang out. They're sharing pictures of their kids and their friends and them out doing stuff. That's where they're hanging out. If you're looking for maybe the millennials, the 20, 20 year olds or younger, you're probably looking at Instagram. They're very different platforms. So how can you tell? Well, you could ask your customers, all right? You can, um, you know, maybe do a little poll. Maybe just take one day and ask every single customer. Have your, have your team ask every customer. Do you, are you on Facebook, Instagram, or both? Or which one do you check the most? That will give you a ton of insight into which one is best for you. So know your audience. It's no use wasting time on a social network like Twitter or uh, TikTok or other ones if your people aren't hanging out there, all right? So that's number one. Number two is look at your competitors, okay? Where are they posting? Where are they getting the most traction? So what you can do is you can go to uh, take a couple of competitors, look at their Facebook and their Instagram pages, all right? What are they posting about? Which one is getting more engagement? Can you tell that Facebook or Instagram posts are getting more likes? Or which one are they posting to more? Which one has more likes and followers, okay? It's gonna tell you a lot about where you should be because if it's working for a competitor, now I would look at a couple competitors so that you get, um, get a good feel for it and also just look at what types of things are they posting. Are they posting very, like on Instagram, very highly polished professional pictures, kind of trendy looking pictures or are they posting graphics? Are they posting videos? What are they posting? Your competitors are gonna tell you a lot about which one is the best one for your, uh, for your restaurant. Number three is really it comes down to the resources. What resources do you have to build your posts? What I'm talking about is your time. That's very valuable. I always say it is better to get really, really good at one social network then trying to spread yourself thin and trying to do multiple social networks. So if you're just getting started, if you're just dipping your toe in, I would encourage you to pick one. Typically, it's Facebook is where I would tell you to start, all right? Get really good at it, all right? Another resource is your photography or, or your creative that you have available. If it's just you and your camera phone and you're gonna be taking pictures, you can post to both places. You can post to both places if you want, but from what, from what I see and my experience, Instagram is much more, it, everything's much more staged, it's more hyper polished, there's filters. You know, it, it, it's uh, a lot of times it's a professional photographer that's come in and taken those photos, you know what I'm saying? And so um, if your resources are, it's you with your camera phone, I would, I would start with Facebook and get really, really good at it. If you have a professional photographer or you have somebody on staff who's really good at Instagram, then maybe turn them loose and let them do it, all right? But that, that's something else to think about. Don't spread yourself so thin that you can't be good at, at either one, at any of them. Focus on one. I've known too many restaurants that have tried to do all the social networks and they don't do any of them well. I don't wanna see you do that. 
Now, uh, I have to help you out a restaurant 365 marketing planner, if you can see that. We have ideas for every single day of the year that you can post on your social network, on your social media, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and it'll give you pre-made ideas that you can just start posting. I will drop a link below so you can grab that planner. So hope you're doing well. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. Love to hear from you. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.